Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I procrastinated all day. Suddenly it was dark outside and I was like, what am I gonna film? And that's when I remembered that you guys really like when I do feeding videos. At night. And it happens to be feeding time at night. We have gummy worms, lots of gummy worms. If you're new here, these are hornworms. We call them gummy worms here. And they're pretty much just giant blue caterpillars. Tarantulas either really love them or really don't. I think the ones that I picked tonight though are in the really love them group. So I don't know, let's find out and get started. Night, 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 night. I'm gonna try to be really careful because I really wanna get this one on camera. Very skittish. This is the blue fang tarantula. I don't know how it's going to react to a hornworm. I don't think it's eaten a hornworm before, but I think it'll be pretty cool if it'll take one. Oh, oh, oh my God, that blue is blinding. It's literally the prettiest tarantula. <laughs> oh my God, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, this is really cool. A really good start off to the video. Let's go ahead and just hop off the water. I'm so glad we caught that one on camera. Now this is one I'm not sure we're going to see eat on camera. This is my Peace Letheria Metallica. Oh, it's so skittish. Oh, it's like running around and it's hiding. So it actually, if it stays like right there, I feel like we could probably get a good shot of it. Oh, I could come in from this side. Smart. Oh no! Okay, maybe not. No, where did it go? This is why pokies are not my favorite. I'm gonna try to just drop in a worm and see what happens. And of course it runs from it. It's fine, we have a lot of tarantulas to feed. Okay, where did you go? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. You see its little toes right there? Mm -hmm, I do. This thing is fast, like super duper fast. Oh, it's coming. Nice. This is my Samalpais Cambridge. And yeah, now she's gone. <laughs> Pretty typical. Hmm, I have like a mountain of tarantulas over here. There were a couple I was hoping would not hide. I know, let's try this one. This one should totally eat. This is my Lazadora striatopes. Yeah, a great tarantula with a great appetite. Nice, a little bit of... And this girl probably could be rehoused soon. She's grown a lot and they grow pretty steady. All right. Who's next? Now this one is a treat. Guess who molted? One of my H. chiliensis molted. This is not the really old one. This is the other one that's small. But look at that color. Oh my gosh. She looks so good. I'm, I'm, I have a feeling she's not gonna eat, but maybe. Yeah, I had a feeling she would be kind of afraid. They're pretty shy. Maybe if we just kind of mess with the worm a little bit more. It's cool, they're pretty shy eaters, so I wasn't really expecting her to eat on camera, but I'm pretty sure she will later. Oh, but she looks so good. All right, moving on. Now this is one I'm not sure we're going to see eat. It's molted recently, but yeah, this is my Cerocopelma rubronitans. Cerocopelma rubronitans. Yeah, I feel like this is not gonna be a very exciting shot, but let's try. Did we take it? There's lots of webbing down there. No, we didn't take it, but it poses literally no danger being in there with it. Well, hornworms don't anyway. Of course, like crickets, super worm beetles, those kind of pose more of a threat, but hornworms really don't. Oh shoot, I accidentally flooded it out. Not totally though. Onward. This is a very special tarantula. One that I do intend on rehousing soon. Dumpster tarantula, yay! Yeah, I actually wanna give this guy a nice little enclosure, so we're gonna probably rehouse him pretty soon. Let's see if he'll eat first, though. Yeah. They always have to question. Nice. Is that good? 
<laughs> awesome. Let's give him a little bit of water, even though he's just going to bury it. There you go. Yeah, he really needs to be rehoused, because look at this. At least he's a native species, am I right? We are moving along. We are moving along very well. We have quite a few left. So let's see, two, four, six, eight more. Let's do some Aphonopelma samanis, because I have two. Now I forget which one is the male and which one is the female. I think this is the female. Nice little fang action. Are you just gonna drag it down to your burrow? Yes. Ah, oh, she's so cool. Look how pretty she is. Ah. Oh. Let's feed her boyfriend, or her future boyfriend. They're not together yet. He's not mature enough for her. Hello. Fun fact, this was my first Aphonopelma Samani, and I named him Six because I got him on my 26th birthday. I'm now 29. It doesn't seem like that long ago. All right, let's try to get a good shot of him. I feel like he's gonna take this one down, no problem. <laughs> nice. Oh, I hope that was as good on camera as I think it was. Where's your water dish? I'm sure his water dish is a part of the enclosure somewhere now. Alright, moving on. Now, I don't know if we're going to see this one on camera, but I thought we could try, because I do kind of see her creeping around at night sometimes. This is my Aphonopelma Annex, and she's huge, like she's huge, huge. Oh yeah, she's super duper deep in there. That's okay, we'll just leave her a little present for later. I'm sure she will appreciate it. <laughs> I don't understand it. I feed this one so much and it just seems like it's still always hungry. It could still always eat more. This is my Panthabedius species Machala. We get a big worm. Yeah. See what I mean? It'll eat no matter what. Even if it's in pre I feel like this one eats. This is one of those tarantulas that I check on a lot, so it still has water and everything, but we'll top it off. I like to keep this one a little damp. Oh yeah, I forgot I grabbed this one. Now, I don't know if we're gonna see this one on camera, but I thought we could try because I just discovered, after not seeing my OBT for months and months and months, I just realized that there's actually a little window right here that you can see in. Now, it's not the best view ever, but you can definitely see it, at least in person. But anyway, I'm just gonna put a little worm up here and see if anything happens. Yeah, she's just acting kind of terrified, uh, not moving, but she doesn't look like she's in pre-molt or anything, so we will leave the worm in. Ooh, this one will eat. I know this one will eat because I haven't fed it for a while. This one is my Aphonopilma Utilatum. Utilatum? <laughs> no hesitation. Some wrestling going on over here. I love how clear these tarantula cribs enclosures are because I seriously cannot even tell I'm shooting through acrylic right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and give her some water. All right, because I want this video to end on a high note, I'm gonna feed the one that I think is not gonna eat, and then I'm gonna feed the one that I know will eat. That way we can end on a, you know, a good feeding clip. We started on a good feeding clip, let's end on a good feeding clip. Brachypelma erratum. Oh, cramp, cramp. Did not feel good. Here she is. Now she's very fat and kind of bald. But she doesn't look like, her abdomen doesn't look like it's in pre -mold. Also, if I remember correctly, she doesn't like these, so I don't have like high hopes, but... Yo! 
out, please. All right, grand finale. The one we know will not let us down, but will we let her down? Three, two, one. <laughs> Girl, you are vicious. There we go, yes. So she actually molted recently too, and she literally just had a couple super worms, but if you know anything about Green Bottle Blue, they will just eat and eat and eat. And since she just had a molt, we want her to do that. It's good for them. So yeah, she is looking great. Jeez, girl, you did so good. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget I'm on Instagram and these probably way too much as I have to die cat. You can go follow me there as a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet 